Okay, this video is to learn how to use something called FlyLab.js. This is what we're going to use for our laboratory experiments in genetics. So let's start by finding the website. If you go to Google and you type in FlyLab and then JS, you can put a space there or not, but uh, if you just put in FlyLab and JS somewhere, you will get this as a result. And it's uh, you just want to click here on the FlyLab JS Fly Science Courseware. So you click there and you come up with this website. And the way this website works is you have flies and it simulates what happens if you were to mate these flies and what the results would be. Now I'm going to give you an example here and we're going to cross some flies uh, based on eye color. So I go over here and I look for eye color and I click there. And what I want to do is I want to tie, I want to cross a wild type, which they have red eyes, the wild types do. I want to cross that one with a white eyed uh, fly. Now at this point, I'm, I don't really care if they're male or female. Um, and um, what we're going to do is all of these, when you start out, are considered homozygous, meaning they all have big letters, all right, or they all have little letters. So homozygous just means the letters are the same. So this is the dominant one. So this one would be like, um, let's just say W, big W, big W. Now there are lots of different alleles. In other words, there are lots of different versions of this gene. Um, so these would be small letters and they don't always have to be the same letter as the one that is the dominant one. So this would be big W, but all of these would say little B, little P, little S, little, uh, another little W. So just to keep it consistent, I'm going to go with wild type, big W, and white eyes, uh, which is kind of like being an albino, uh, and that's going to be a small W. All right. Now you're not going to see that on here, but that would be your convention for writing it down. So big W and little w. And we're going to cross these. I don't care what sex they are at this point. In future labs we will. But right now we're just going to take this. And what we need to do is we need to create heterozygotes. So these, this fly that I take from here is big W, big W. The one that I'm going to take from over here is going to be little w, little w, and we're going to cross these two. So I'm first going to select a fly for mating. So I click here on wild type and select for mating. So that puts my big W, big W. Now you notice they just put plus here. Plus for them means wild type, which is big W, big W. Now then I'm going to design another fly. All right, and I'm going to go eye color again, but I'm going to choose white. Now this is going to be little w, little w, and I'm going to select it for mating. All right, so big w, big w, all right, little w, little w, ignore the fact that it has a capital here. We would consider this a little w. All right, and I am going to mate these flies. Now what do I get? Well, I should get 100% big W, little w. They're going to be heterozygotes because mom only had one type of allele to give, a big W, and dad only had one type of W to give, a little w. So all of the children are big W, little w. Now you'll notice here though that you've got one of something else and that's what n. n means the number of resulting flies. So you got one of each of these types that it says are different. Now this is due to something called crossing over that we will go over later. But for this lab right now, we don't have to worry about the two up here, the ones where we have very tiny numbers. So one, they only had one fly like this and one fly like this. But here you had 530 children that were wild type and 510 uh, that well, they're not wild type exactly. They show up as wild type, but they are, what these are, these are the heterozygotes. So the children should be 100%, and it is pretty close. You get one of these, they're kind of like, we would think of them as mutants if you want to think of it that way, but uh, we'll explain crossing over later. But you got one or two that are a bit different, but in general, you got 100% of your flies, um, 
or near, 99.9% maybe, uh, that were as you expected, which they should, their phenotype, what they look like, should be wild type. And these are your heterozygotes. And so now what we want to do now is we want to take the two heterozygotes we've created here and we want to mate them and see if indeed we get what we expect, which would be what you're going to get a combination of all the different types. We're going to see um, both homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and some recessive. To this point, we haven't seen any recessive, uh, but we should if we mate these two flies. So we're going to select these to mate, and we're going to select these to mate. So these are the ones that we have created artificially that are heterozygotes. So in other words, th these females, all right, are big W, little w, and these males are big W, little w. And if we were to look on our uh, assignments that we've seen, if we cross something that is heterozygote, in other words, both male and female are heterozygotes, we're going to get three out of the four with the dominant trait, which is uh, uh, red eyes, and then we're going to get uh, one quarter of the flies are going to be white eyes. So let's see if that's what we get. Okay, now remember, these ones that come out with n equal 1, you can ignore those because those come from what we call crossing over. These are the ones that we want. And what do we get? We get about 1,000 flies, roughly. All right, these things are never precise, and this computer simulation uh, also is not precise. It's always a little bit off from what you would expect because that's what we see in, uh, in nature. So we have 1,000 flies, 500 here, 250 here, and about 250 here. And what do you get? Well, these, of course, are going to be your heterozygotes, big W, little w's. These are going to be your big W, big w's, all right? And these are going to be your little w, little w's. So these are the homozygous recessives. These are the homozygous dominants. And these here are your uh, heterozygotes. And we get twice as many of these all right, as we would see on our chart. So yes, we did get what we thought we would. And now the, the hard part about this is figuring out which one of these you have and how many you got. So what I want you to do when you turn these in, I want you to um, re take a picture of the screen, all right, and turn this in as a cross. So if I had asked you to cross two heterozygotes you would have done just as I did here. And heterozygotes are the hard ones to get. The dominants, the dominant ones are the easy ones to choose. They're given to you. But if you want to cross heterozygotes, you have to create them, which is what I just did. So let's go back over that real quick. Let's use a different trait besides uh, eyes. And so what I wanted you to do in that previous one is the hard example. So I did the hard example first, where we had to create our flies to cross them. All right, now I'm going to use um, wing size and uh, we're going to take wild type again. So this one would be, you know, big T, big T. All right, and we're going to select that one and it's going to be our female. And then we're going to design a fly. I want to cross, um, cross it with, let's say, um, little t, little t, any one of these. So these have, these are uh, vestigial wings. They're barely there. All right. And see how they're all kind of wrinkly. Um, and we're going to do cross it. So we're crossing a big T, big T with a little t, little t. Well, this one is much easier because they give me these. See, all the wild types are always the big letter. And any one of these you choose are both little letter, little letter. In other words, homozygous recessive. These are all recessive traits, So, and this is the dominant one. So this one is always, the when you start out, they're always the same, and so therefore you don't have to create like a heterozygote. If we had to create a heterozygote, you would have to do like I did before. All right, so I select that fly, and so here I am crossing, this one is big T, big T, and this one is little t, little t. I can mate those flies, and what do we get? Well, we get what? They all look like big T, big T, 
and um, we're not worried about male and female at this point. At this point, we're just looking to see if all of them are um, what they all come out looking like what the dominant trait, um, which uh, they do. They have normal wings. Uh, they are. This is all of these would be big T, big T, and big T, big T males and females. So you would take a picture of this and say, yes, I got exactly what I wanted. Remember, you can ignore these that have n equal one. These are due to crossing over, and we are not going to worry at this point about crossing over. So this is how you will do your lab. I will tell you what to cross. So I will tell you something like, I want to cross um, a wild type fly with a bar-eyed fly, uh, and so you would represent this one as big T, big T, and this one as little t, little t, and you would select them for mating, and you would take a picture of your result, and that would be your uh, uh, answer, to, and you would show that it did show up just as you predicted on your Punnett square. So you would draw a Punnett square, and then you would also uh, include this picture and explain that yes, I did get the same uh, results. All right, so we did one here with eye color, with uh, this one and this one, and we did one with wing size. We did this one and this one. That this is the simple one. The first one I did was the hard one because you can't just choose heterozygotes with this program. You actually have to create them. So you create. A heterozygote which means a big letter little letter and then you can choose to mate it with either another heterozygote or like I did or you can go back and choose one of these uh, other ones to mate with it so uh, that will be your exercise will be to do the combinations that I have um, that I list uh, on the assignment